How to post a blog in WordPress. I'm going to show you how to post a blog, how to edit the blog. So first off on your website, log in, enter your username and password. If you need more help with this, I've got another tutorial. I'll put the card in the video right now. Just click on that and it's a deeper dive. Hover over post and click add new. Add your title and the content of your work. So, a method I like to do is to go into Google Doc. You can open up Word document or text file and just start writing in here. I just find it easier and I'll show you why coming up. And you format it in here, so double click. Make that a H1 because it's the title. I know that was a list because when I was writing it, that's what I intended. Make this one a title, H2. Use, yep. Conclusion, make that a H2. And there we go, there is my blog. Nice, simple blog. It's important to take across the header first, so highlight it, Control C, go into your blog, Control V. And another way of doing that would be just a Select all your text, right click on your mouse, copy, open up the tab and paste it in. And that's how simple it is to write a blog in WordPress. Now you could have just done it in WordPress to begin with. And so, or you could do it afterwards. So let's say you wanted things not to do in conclusion and you said, actually, there was a, another point I wanted to add for example that's how you would want to do it but let's say you want to break away from the list you just press add block click paragraph and then you can write so what happens if you want an image in between these you just press add block go to gallery or image i'm going to go to image I just want one. I haven't uploaded it yet, so it won't be in my media library. I'm going to upload it and I'm going to click the image I want. And in between here, I want another image. So I just do the exact same thing. And then that's my blog written and I go on this right hand side I click document and I just start filling in what it says. So the category, if you think about it like this, you could have several hundred blogs and they'll all belong to only a few categories. So this website's about pet care. So there'll be a category about pet grooming, pet services, pet welfare. So this is dog grooming. So I would create a category Add new category and I would type in grooming. Then I would just press enter and there it is. It's automatically ticked grooming. So let's say you have 500 blocks, okay? And 250 of those were actually for dogs and 250 were actually for horse grooming. You can have a subcategory and in order to do that, you would say dog grooming here, and the parent category is grooming. So add category there, and it just puts it in nicely. Now that's optional. Tags help search engines and they help users. So dog grooming. You can have more tags than you have categories but I suggest you keep your tags relatively low and you try to reuse them. And that way in your blog page, you can call upon certain tags and only query and display certain tags. Featured image, again, upload files, select files. This one's called featured image. I've made this earlier on. 
It's always good practice just to add in a bit of text in here, alt text, title, caption, description. I've got another video going in, in depth why you add this and what is the best way to optimize search engines. But for now, I'll just press set featured image. Next, uh, so it's just a summary really. Um, it's the bit where it's underneath the featured image picture and you just click read more. And there you have it, dog grooming. There's the featured image. Here's the list. Here's the other image I put up. Things not to do. Another image I put up. And there's my conclusion. It's all ready for someone to write a comment. Now, please note, your blog will look slightly different depending on the design of the website. Okay, so after you're happy with the preview, go back here and you want to change your URL slug. So your URL slug will be your domain forward slash contact us, forward slash services. So on a blog like this, it'll be forward slash dog grooming. And it's really good to get your keyword at the start of a URL and keep the URL relatively short. Now, I've got another video about search engine optimization of dog grooming. Let me get rid of that and publish. View post. And there you have it. Dog grooming. So now let me show you how to edit your blog. Let's say you're doing this in six months because you realize, well, actually, I've got more information I want to share, or actually, I've learned this little bit, this tip about SEO, and I want to apply it to my blog. So go back to your WordPress dashboard. Instead of pressing add new, this time press all post, locate the post you want and press edit. And then you can make any change you like. And then press update and you're done. A pro tip would be if you've made a mistake and you didn't really want that title, I would highly recommend you edit the post opposed to trashing it or deleting it. And the reason why is if Google's index your blog, so by that I mean if Google have um, stored your website, your web page in their database and you delete it, it's just going to create a broken link. And you can see evidence of this is some grooming shop down the road, as in dog grooming, um, <laughs> said, hey, I really like this blog. I'm going to link to it. And then you delete your blog. When the users of the uh, grooming shop click on that link, it's just going to go to an error page. And that grooming shop, the owner, is going to say, well, I don't want to send my users to a broken page. And as a result of that, they're going to go to your competitor. They're going to link out to someone else. So be really cautious about just pressing trash on your blogs. And um, think about what you could have done differently and think about redirecting it. But I can talk about that in a different video. For now, that is how you add a blog to your WordPress, how to edit it, how to add an image, sort out your categories, sort out your tags. Hi, I'm Simon. I'm an SEO consultant, a web designer, and a digital marketing freelancer. I love what I do, and I make bite-sized, regular videos, and I post them up to my social network. I would love it if you could like, comment, and subscribe. This way I know what videos you like, I answer all the questions promptly, and then I can make more videos based on what advice and what tips you would like to see next. Thank you. Bye.